Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we will see SAP WM Goods Issue Process. So the agenda for the session is Goods Issue Process. Goods Issue means we are issuing goods. So in this case, first a document will be posted in IM, then a document will be posted in WM. So let's do all these functions practically. When our material is warehouse managed and we have to issue goods, then our process starts with posting material document in IM and then stock is picked or issued from warehouse by creating transfer order. So before issuing goods, we will just check stock at IM and WM level. To check stock at IM level, enter transaction code MMBE in command field. This will navigate you to stock overview page at IM level. So enter your material and plant and click on execute. Here you can see that in batch number 364 my stock is 8 units. Now we will check stock at WM level. So enter transaction code LS26. This will navigate you to stock overview page at WM level. Here enter your warehouse number, material and plant. Then press enter. Here you can see that in 364 batch number our available stock is 8 units. When you will double click on this line item, it will show you the exact storage bin. That is this is the storage bin and this is the stock that is 8 units. Now first step to issue goods is to post material document. So go to transaction code. Migo that is slash O M I G O. This will navigate you to posting material document page. Here you need to select goods issue. In this field, you have to select other as we do not have any reference document and moment type for goods issue is 201 that is GI for cost center in material tab enter your material number in quantity enter your quantity that's need to be issued in where tab you need to enter your plant storage location Then press enter. This will fetch all other details. In batch tab, you need to enter your batch number from where you are issuing goods. So I'll enter this 364 number. In account assignment, you need to enter cost center number. Then press enter again. Here important field to notice is this WM tab as our material is WM managed so when we will post material document this WM tab will appear automatically. Now once all details are filled you need to click on item OK. Now Click on post to post your material document. Material document will be posted generating a number and this will navigate you to create transfer order screen. Now once material document is posted our stock has moved from storage location and IM steps are complete. So we can check this in MMBE screen. So we will go to stock overview screen at IM level. Just refresh this page. Here you can see that in this batch number 364 stock has been removed and stock has reduced to 5 quantity. Earlier it was 8. Now once material document is posted a transfer requirement is posted in background 
to move stock from source storage bin to destination storage bin. Now we will create transfer order to move actually stock from our source storage bin to interim storage area. So we will go to create transfer order screen. Enter your material document number and material document year. Then press enter. Here you can see that this is your material. This is plant storage location. Now click on generate plus next material. On next screen you can see that our destination storage bin is 911 that is the interim storage area. So our stock will be moved from source storage bin that is the actual bin to interim storage area and from interim st storage area it will be issued to the third party or vendor. Now click on save. So transfer order will be created generating a number. We can display this transfer order by going to transaction code slash OLT21. This will navigate you to display transfer order screen. Enter your transfer order number and warehouse number. Here you can see that source bin is the actual bin and destination bin is the interim storage area. Now once transfer order has been created we need to confirm that so that our stock will move from interim storage area to third party or to the person who, to whom we are issuing the goods. Also you can check this stock in interim storage area in stock overview page at WM level. We will just go back on this screen of stock per material. Just refresh this screen. Here you can see that a quantity of minus 3 has been posted to this interim storage area and once our transfer order will be confirmed this minus 3 will be posted and it will be issued to the person to whom we are issuing the goods and this line item will be removed from this page so we will go to create transfer orders screen here on display transfer order screen you can confirm transfer order by going on icon transfer order click on confirm then select transfer order now press enter this will navigate you to the other page now click on save transfer order will be confirmed generating a message transfer order will be confirmed generating a message now we will again check our stock and go to stock overview page so this is the stock overview page at WM level so we will just refresh this page so our stock has been moved from interim storage area and we can see that it has reduced to 5 units as it was reduced in IM so our good issue process is complete and we have issued goods from our warehouse. So in this session we have learned how to post goods issue and in all previous sessions we learned basics of WM, configurations and end to end flow in warehouse management. So keep practicing good luck.